Welcome to MarketTamer.com. Some questions have come in recently regarding how to value stocks fairly and when would you know when it's time to buy, when would you know when there's a peak. And so we're showing this chart which demonstrates the S&P price earnings ratio and trend line going back approximately 130 years. And what you see are, uh, apart from the oscillations up and down over time, you see big peaks representing the bubble periods. For example, in the 1930s, right before the Great Depression, we had a peak of P.E. ratios above 30. Then over in 2000, we had a peak in P.E. ratios above 40. And then each time we had these huge corrections all the way down, in fact, not just to this trend line, but below before bouncing back again. So we've seen that in some respects happen here where there's been a big correction here uh, all the way down to the trend line and we're bouncing right around it at this point in time. That trend line, you can think about it in some respects as a, a fair value line based on risk premiums and riskless rates uh, as well as growth. And ultimately what we find is that there is more often than not uh, a mean reversion in spite of the bubble periods, which simply means that after periods of exuberance or some might describe as irrational exuberance, we often find the fundamentals ultimately win in the end. That is, uh, if companies are producing at a certain rate of growth, it's uh, unsustainable for the market to price that growth uh, way above that or at multiples above that for any extended period of time. So often you'll find, for example, companies that have very fast growth rates have very, very high multiples initially, but ultimately the law of large numbers catches up, which simply means that when companies get large and they're producing at a certain rate of growth, uh, you will not see the price earnings multiples factor in uh, substantially higher growth rates because uh, it's simply unsustainable over time. So with that, hopefully you can uh, use this as, as maybe a guide over time. Certainly if you're a longer term investor, this is a very good signifier and signal when uh, bubble periods are existing. Often you just see very, very big disparity and divergences between the trend line and the actual P.E. ratio. With that, if you have any questions, please do feel free to jump into class. We'll look forward to seeing you there at markettamer.com.